Hello everyone, this is Ernest of Quick Fix Auto Services. This Jeep Grand Cherokee 2014 model was taken to some mechanics to fill the air suspension nitrogen gas and the client was surprised that the shocks became hardened like a rock and was making this noise you can hear and flashing service air suspension warning lights among others as you can see. The vehicle also could not lower down. You'll always notice your Jeep Grand Cherokee suspension lift buttons all blinking whenever there's a serious problem with your hair suspension. And normally when you carry out the diagnosis, you're likely to find these fault codes, including fault code C2212 ECU in plant mode. And no matter how long you try to delete, it won't go away. Today I'm going to show you how you can solve this serious Grand Cherokee air suspension problem. With a proper advanced diagnostic scan tool with special functions like one I'm using, you need to run ASCM, air suspension control module diagnostic routine for the height sensor check to resume operation. First plug in your diagnostic scanner and switch ignition on and engine not running. <laughs> With a scan tool and a special miscellaneous functions, run the height sensor check routine, then erase the false codes. The air suspension control module, ASCM, has a special diagnostic mode called implant mode. Whenever any ASCM diagnostic routine is run, the ECU or engine controlling it will stop normal operation and enter into this plant mode. All leveling functions will be disabled while in this mode. This is so that the technician can work on the vehicle knowing that the air suspension will not automatically readjust itself. The service air suspension machine will be displayed on the cluster when this fault is fast active. Ensure that the suspension nitrogen hair mass is okay and filled with a reputable dealer. Check for any leaks in the system and make sure the air compressor is also functioning. Check the air block assembly, run the nitrogen air mass test to verify that the nitrogen air mass in the system is okay and not low. Now follow this procedure. First ensure the vehicle is on a level ground and with the scan tool using the special function under ASCM air suspension control module, command the vehicle to normal ride height. Perform the curb height measurements again and verify specifications. Run the air mass calculations routine on the air suspension and ensure the air mass is okay and not low. If necessary, add the system or deflate the atmosphere using the SCM air suspension routine. Then repeat the air mass calculation routine again until the system responds with nitrogen air mass okay, about 188 to 216 bar. Run the height sensor check routine on the air suspension and calibrate with appropriate height values for front and rear wheels. Clear all diagnostic trouble calls and enable the air suspension on the cluster. Finally, if you can't erase the plant mode and getting through all the above mentioned routine procedures, then you'll need to replace the SCM air suspension control module and air block assembly and ensure no leaks in the system thanks for watching and i hope you've enjoyed watching this video and kindly just give a thumbs up and kindly subscribe